Hi there, Evan here at the McChronicle. On what's already been one heck of a crazy March 9th, 2020, where the future indeed does start today. First thing I wanted to cover, the Fed as expected has come in. They have vastly increased the size of the repo injections every day. We knew they were going to do something. Frankly though, I don't think this is nearly enough. And second, if you're a trader out there, safe travels. We just hit the first circuit breaker level on the SMP. All overlay on the screen here, the key levels you need to watch for potentially future circuit breakers. These key levels I'm going to leave on screen here for a few seconds. Now, let's get into the video. At the end of the day, we shouldn't be shocked at this. I mean, as I put out on Twitter last night, I called all this two years ago. I've been calling for this downturn in the economy and telling people to start paying attention to it for the last 18 months now. I mean, two years ago, the US dollar bottomed. Around about 18 months ago now, both bonds and gold both bottomed. About nine months ago in the US, and over a year ago now in Canada, the yield curve's inverted, which again, is the best forward-looking indicator for a recession that I follow. The economy itself turned down in the middle of 2018. Earnings growth started slowing down about two years ago. At the end of the day, it was all there. The markets I had you go into about two years ago, US dollar, gold, silver, later on I had you go into platinum, bonds I've had you in, a Bitcoin if it's your thing, you were in that also. Okay, some of those haven't quite worked out as much as others, okay. But at the end of the day, starting from two years ago, if you were playing that playbook, you've already made a ton of money even before the market even started declining. So should this be shocking? Absolutely not. I've been outlining how you can prepare for this for about two years now. Let that sink in. Now look, what can you do here? Again, as I've been saying on this channel for the past two years now, we need to make sure we're prepared for the worst case scenario. What's the worst case scenario that can happen here? Two things, freeze up of credit and a freeze up at your bank to where you go to your ATM, you put in your debit card, and you can't take out money. Okay? Again, I'm not saying this is going to happen. This is a worst case scenario preparation. What do I need you to do to prepare for this? Now, how much would I take out? Again, every situation is different, but please, I urge you, be prepared. Go to your bank, take out physical cash, again, Everyone's different as to how much they have right now. But if you can, make sure you have enough to cover your net pay for two weeks. In case there's a credit freeze up, in case there's an ATM freeze up. Okay? I need you to be prepared for it. Now as far as that safe haven portfolio, what would I do here? If you have that big profit in gold, if you have that big profit in bonds, go ahead. Please, sell some. Take a profit here. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, you don't have a profit until you've cashed it in. And the rest, I would let run. Again, this move here, I think is only getting started. And please, if you haven't already, remember the video I did about a year ago, how you can prepare for a potential job loss. Because I'm stating the obvious here, but the chances of you losing your job our highest in a recession, which we are heading into. So like I said in that video, make sure you have a rainy day fund. Again, every situation is different. Personally, I want to have at least nine months worth of living expenses put away. So if you can do that and you haven't done so yet, please make sure to do so. So big takeaway from this video, rainy day fund and physical cash. Make sure we're prepared for the worst case scenario because the chances of that worst case scenario happening 
are starting to become higher than they've been, frankly at least, in a very long time. Okay? Leave you all with that. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Follow both my accounts on Twitter. And as always, my name is Evan. This is the Macronicle, where the future indeed does start today.